Welcome to St. Andrew's Daily Prayer for March 7th. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, God of compassion and mercy. To you be praise and glory forever. In the darkness of our sin, your light breaks forth like the dawn, and your healing springs up for deliverance. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. A reading from Psalm 34 I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall ever be in my mouth. My soul shall glory in the Lord. Let the humble hear and be glad. O magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and delivered me from all my fears. Look upon him, and be radiant, and your faces shall not be ashamed. This poor soul cried, and the Lord heard me, and saved me from all my troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him, and delivers them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who trusts in him. Let us pray. Send your holy angels to watch over us, O oh God that on our lips will be found your truth, and in our hearts your love, so we may t ever taste your goodness in the land of the living. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Gospel reading is from Mark chapter 5, verse 35, to Mark chapter 6, verse 6. While Jesus was still speaking, some people came from the house of Jairus, the synagogue leader, your daughter is dead, they said. Why bother the teacher any more? Overhearing what they said, Jesus told him, Don't be afraid. Just believe. He did not let anyone follow him except Peter, James, and John, the brother of James. When they came to the home of the synagogue leader, Jesus saw a commotion with people crying and wailing loudly. He went in and said to them, Why all this commotion and wailing? The child is not dead, but asleep. But they laughed at him. After he put them all out, he took the child's father and mother and the disciples who were with him and went in where the child was. He took her by the hand and said to her, Talitha kum, which means, little girl, I say to you, get up. Immediately the girl stood up and began to walk around. She was 12 years old. At this they were completely astonished. He gave strict orders not to let anyone know about this and told them to give her something to eat. Jesus left there and went to his hometown, accompanied by his disciples. When the Sabbath came, he began to teach in the synagogue, and many who heard him were amazed. Where did this man get these things? they asked. What's this wisdom that has been given him? What are these remarkable miracles he is performing? Isn't this the carpenter? Isn't this Mary's son and the brother of James, Joseph, Judas, and Simon? Aren't his sisters here with us? And they took offense at him. Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor, except in his own town, among his relatives, and in his own home. He could not do any miracles there, except lay his hands on a few sick people and heal them. He was amazed at their lack of faith. Then Jesus went around teaching from village to village. You are the God of my salvation. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. By the power of the Spirit, and in unity with Christ, trusting always in God's life-giving intent for creation, let us pray. Loving God, you created a world of abundant beauty, rich with the resources we need to flourish. In these gray days before springtime, we anticipate and we thank you for the gift of new life and growth in the months to come. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Holy and just God, we pray for those who are struggling with the rising cost of living in this economically difficult year. May they find the support and help they need in our communities. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our church, that our hearts would be transformed by our worship and our relationships with you would grow deeper and better rooted in our faith 
in this season of Lent. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray on this day that your love, O God, would be made known in all families. When family life is difficult and relations are strained, help us to know your presence with us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are afflicted with pain in body or mind, those whose illnesses are long-term and wearing. Through your power and the work of those who care for them, may they find once again fullness of life, joy, and peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the members and work of the Women's Missionary Society. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O gracious and holy Father, give us wisdom to perceive you, diligence to seek you, patience to wait for you, eyes to behold you, a heart to meditate upon you, and a life to proclaim you, through the power of the Spirit of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Please join me in praying the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. May God bless us and show us compassion and mercy. Amen. Amen.